I was out in the drawing. Um, I just had a hand line, um, and um, I was with my my uncle, and we saw the tuna go by. He said, uh, "See if we can get it." We took a whole mackerel, put on the hook, and flung it out. Uh, in a minute, grabbed it. And the uncle then jumped out of the boat and went over with, with his brother in the other, the other dory and left me <laughs> to manhandle the, the tuna. And this was, you know, like the, the, the stories that the whalers used to talk about in Nant Nantucket sleigh ride. I went from one end <laughs> of the ocean to the other. I could see the extreme, you know, like the points of land. We, we were that close in shore. I could see the points of land at the end. We were going back and forth, back and forth. <clears throat> I was out there all day, and then they came with the motor launch. <laughs> they give me a hand. <laughs> We brought the thing in, uh, towed it in. You, know. you couldn't get it out of the water. It was 600 some pounds. But at that time, uh, there was no market for tuna. It's like we're talking about something. Yep, yeah. Would you get 30 cents a pound or something? No, it wasn't even that. It was like eight cents a pound, something like that. But one of the dealers bought, bought the, the carcass, uh, and uh, I don't know what the hell he did with them, but uh, I never got a cent out of him. <laughs> <laughs>